woke up to the biggest snowfall that we had of the year overnight. So, you know, that's fun. But that means all the plans I had for making a new video are out the door because I needed to actually go somewhere to do that. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere in this weather. So instead, once I finish shoveling all this, I'm gonna take you inside, show you the studio build out that I am working on. Still very much a work in progress, but I wanted to do a few different parts as I build it out to show you what I'm working with, why I'm doing it the way I am. And really it's just to make me the most efficient I can be. And there's a few key things I've been using in the space that make it the most efficient for me and just exactly what I need. So let's, let's finish this up. All right, welcome to my studio. Very early stages, definitely not finished, but the main purpose of this space is for on camera and filming. So it's nothing that I need to build out to be super dynamic. This is a room that I want to kind of stay the way it is, and that way I can flip a switch, start filming, and basically be more efficient. And so far, I'm liking it. Now, this room is kind of weird. So uh, this house is very old and this is, I think, used to be the attic at one point. So we have very sloped ceiling on every single side. There's not one place in here that is not a sloped ceiling. And at first I thought, mm, that's gonna be an issue, but uh, so far it's worked out okay. The main issue is that when I have lights like this that take up a lot of space, well, I have a sloped line, so there's not a lot of you know walking around room. But like I said, this is mainly for just filming, so as long as everything is set up, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not worried about what it looks like while I'm not you know on camera. Speaking of on camera, let's go and jump to this setup and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the new on camera setup and I wanted this to look pretty homey, pretty clean. I didn't want it to be like industrial or really dark or anything like that. I wanted it to look like a house because well, that's, that's what it is, this is where I live. And at the same time, this is my studio. So there's a few functionality items that I wanted here as well that I figured I'd just keep in the background. Mainly this whole rack system. I got it at Ikea, I'll leave it linked down below. And in the parts that you can see, well, I have, you know, for instance, the Macintosh and I have a few bins, but those are also storage and where I keep a lot of things. And over time, I'm going to build out even more to do things like be camera storage and a charging station, which I just haven't had time to do just yet. But that's what these racks are going to be. But I also, you know, I think they look pretty decent. So they're in the background there. And then on the other side, I have some plants, which I just like including, I think it gives it a little bit more of a fresh open air feeling, even though I'm kind of in what feels like a dungeon sometimes. But the key thing for this setup for me was making sure that I can flip the least amount of switches possible to get up and running. Because for me, if I'm being completely honest, this part, you know, sitting down and talking to the camera is the hardest part of making videos. It's the thing that I kind of, dread's not the right word, but it's just, it's just tough for me sometimes. I just have to give myself motivation to get here and start recording and one of the things that was always a hindrance to that is having to set up all the lights, having to set up the microphone, set up the camera and everything. So having a space where I can, you know, just flip a few switches and be ready, well, that was important to me. And luckily that's where the lighting comes in because that is the hardest part for me. It's what takes the longest to dial in and it's honestly never dialed in. Like right now, I, I'm happy with what it looks like, but I'm positive I'm gonna be making even more changes. But getting the lighting at least semi-decent is important. But one of the things that is letting me get there is aperture lights. Now I'm sure you've heard of aperture, but that is kind of what's running the whole studio here. And there's a few key lights that I'm using that make this setup possible. And when Aperture heard that I was working on this new studio, they reached out, asked to send over some lights to make this easier for me. And well, I'm loving them so far. My main key light, which you're seeing here, you know, lighting me, is the Amaran 200D. And I think my favorite thing about this is first the price, it's very affordable, but you're getting a very bright and very good quality light out of that. The Amaran series is definitely more geared towards, I guess, people like me, like creators, people who are more in their home studios, maybe not taking them out on location all the time, although I still think you can easily do that with Amaran lights. And the Amaran 200D, I think, is just the perfect key light for both price and brightness. But my favorite light that they sent over is their new P60C, and this is a big light panel. And right now in this shot, it's actually lighting everything behind me and, you know, my hair lights and everything in the background is that light. I actually 
actually mounted it to the ceiling so that it stays out of the way and I don't have any, you know, stands. That was always an issue in this room. So now it's out of the way. Stuff to work on my, you know, cable rounding a little bit more that's also going to be coming. But this light has a ton of uses. Right now, this is what I'm using it for, but I can easily pull it down and use it for a lot of other things. Now, like I said, this is a light panel. So you have a bunch of LEDs. And what's great about this is the versatility. Not only is it by color, so you can go from daylight to incandescent very easily, but it is also RGB. So you can choose any color that you want. And that gives you just a ton of versatility. So for instance, in this shot, I'm using a you know incandescent look. It's about 3,500 Kelvin right now, but I can easily switch it to a color if I want it. So I can go like green or I can go red or I could go blue and it's just that simple and it has so many different options that you can choose from it's pretty much infinitely variable and depending on what color you're actually looking for you can decide that and match anything perfectly and this i think is great for backgrounds or matching scenes or maybe giving some color contrast just depending on what you're doing i mean the options are, are really endless and this is one of my absolute favorite things about this panel and it also gets very bright so if you wanted to you know blast a white wall with a bunch of color you could easily do that and make it look like you almost have a seamless behind you and it still just works. Now I'm also controlling all of that with the next best thing, which is their Citus Link app, which is lets you control all of their lights with your phone. And you can also pair them together. So you can, you know, make a group that turns them all on, turns them all off. You can do different scenes. So for instance, I could have my A-roll scene here. And if I just go back, I'll tap here. And now we are back to what it looked like originally. And that is... Mm, that is exactly what I was looking for. The P60C is also very impressively built and very easy to use. On the back, you have a display that tells you what the light is outputting and you know the strength, the color, the hue, all of that. And it has knobs that feel very good to turn and it's just very easy to control that way. And also one of my favorite features that not a lot of lights have is tint control. So if you're trying to match other lights that maybe have a magenta hue or have a green tint, well, you can adjust this light to match it. And that's one of the things when you're using the these more affordable lights. Sometimes the light that you're getting out of them varies from light to light, but having the tint control means I can just dial it in to be exactly perfect. So having these aperture lights just make my life so much easier. And I think they're the best way to jump into getting a studio system like this that you can all control. You don't have to go into like DMX or anything crazy like that. This is great for a home studio and it just works. Okay, so that is the on-camera setup. Let me take you to the second setup in here, which is for top-down video. And top-down is one of my favorite things. I just love the way it looks. I love creating the little setups here on the desk so I can film down, show different products, do different reveals, unboxings, anything like that. And right now I'm using an Aperture 100D for that and a really big soft box, which gives you that really soft light, which I like a lot. It's also a standing desk, so I can you know raise and lower depending on what I'm filming. And for the camera, arguably the most important part, I am using a monitor stand that's just super tall and it has a, you know, a, a mount on it for the camera. A super simple setup, very easy, but I've been using it for years and it works extremely well. And the great thing here is I, you know, just attach the camera, start filming, and it's very quick and simple. I also have a bunch of, you know, different textures here. I've got, you know, uh, what would this be? Like a cutting board, I've got felt, I've got cork, and then I've got a bunch of different accessories that I can, you know, put there, kind of make a nice looking set and you know that's great. Now another lighting fixture that I've been using thanks to Aperture that I really think comes in handy for this top down setup as you can see the walls here are a little strange I have to always be doing that. I hit my head all the time, but it's the Aperture MC, which are those little LED panels that are great. So this is the four pack that comes with the wireless charger. It's awesome, it's great. I like it for top down, so I can kind of give it a little, either a boost of color, a little splash of light, anything like that. Or I'm also using it in the background for some of the practical effects, like for the Macintosh that I have there. It's magnetic, so I just stick it to the bottom of the shelf, which is also made of metal, and it gives me a nice accent light there. Now the Aperture MC, also works with the Citus Link app. So just another fixture that it can include in all of my lights. But yeah, when it comes to the studio, the lighting is the thing that I wanted to get set as quickly as possible, both here in the main setup and also for the top down, because like I said, having the best lighting you can really makes a difference in your videos. And obviously this is a work in progress. If you guys hate it, if you guys love it, let me know if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to change, or you know, if you think it looks good enough, well, let me know. Now, like I said a million times, this is just step one. This is a work in progress for the 
the studio, there's still a lot of things I want to do. So the lighting is kind of set, but I would like to do maybe some painting, maybe some adjusting of where the furniture is. Like I said, I'd also like to figure out where my gear is going to go and have a charging station. And in my next video, I'll talk about what is actually filming me. I'll give you a quick teaser right now. I'm using my Canon C70 as my main camera. I have a monitor off to the side where I can view everything. That's what I'm looking at right now. And for the microphone, I'm using the Rode NTG5, which is just going straight into the C70. And I think it sounds great. It's a good setup, but this is also kind of going to be changing and I'll do a full breakdown on all of that gear in its own video because there's just, there's a lot to talk about. But yeah, this is step one of the home studio setup. Still a lot of work to be done, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. And it's at least a very good first step to get me to just crank out more videos.